Hello and welcome to the chess chapter, the chapter of my journey that I share with you online of my attempt to get to 2000 rating on chess.com. This is the second time I've done this intro and it's day 52 and we're going to start out with a puzzle even though I've already lost one game today. We're going to bounce back, we're going to win that game, uh, win that game back. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Checks, then captures then attacks. Let's see what our options are here. We have this. We'll pull the queen over. The queen will um, have to come over to block. And then we will take as it will be defended. That is the options. We got them. Let's do another one. We've got the king in check. So the king has to move out of check. What is the best way to move out of check? Do I move left? If I move this direction, the queen, the rook can cause check here. If I move this direction, the queen cannot do checks anywhere except for here. And I could go here. The queen could go there and I would lose. But if I go here, Queen cannot check here. The rook could not check here. Um, queen couldn't check here. The bishop couldn't check. So I've gone this way. So I've gone this way. And I'm confused. I did all the all the options. I went here. Oh, that was cool. And I didn't see that at all. That's wild. That was cool. And I did not see it at all. So I recorded this earlier and my camera turned off and I did not realize that it also stopped on the recording. So I'm going to be a little bit more paranoid and I'll be checking my camera. So if you see me looking over, trying to make sure my camera's still working. So let's hop into it and see who we are going to face for the second time today. We played against a 1200, like a 1263 out of Germany. And it was a grueling battle all the way to the end that I lost in a classic in game. We are going against Mitch, 1184 out of the United States. And we are with white pieces again. So oh, let's hop into it. I don't understand that. Uh, I just don't understand this move. I guess he's probably pushing here. Is this, wait, is this the Carl Khan in reverse? Is that a reverse Carl Khan? I thought the Carl Khan started from this side. I was black. No, I guess I was probably pushing for the Carl Khan. Um, okay. <clears throat> We are just running our standard uh, London system opening. You guys are probably getting tired of seeing the same structure over and over and over. I'm not tired of it because I'm still bad at it. So, um, okay. So he launches out. I don't remember exactly. I feel like there was something here, but I don't remember what it is. So we're going to go with standard development procedures but i feel like that's gonna be really hard for him to protect so we're just gonna oh i mean it's impossible to defend and that's not good i don't know do i want to land my bishop there or not question uh we can attack this bishop going this direction if we want Can't go here now. Do we want to go out this way? I mean, we can come in here and here. I watched a video that said if they push a pawn, you're looking for a weakness. So, like, this is a weakness? I don't know how that works. I think if this pawn came forward, this would be a weakness, and that would be a weakness. I don't quite understand the concept of that video, but it's okay. We'll hold on to our principles. If I come here, well, now that's 
Okay. So this seems like really kind of He's probably just going to drop here, right? Because he's going to drop back so that at least he gets the open file with the rook. No way that he leaves it there. I could see him coming in. I could see him coming in there. If he comes in here, we take, he takes. How do we want to do that if that happens? He comes here and I take. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is his best move because then at least he can take and leave the rook open. And in that case, I don't know what I do. Interesting. This is a good move. I, it's a good move. How do I want to handle this? Could go here. Push. Trade. Hmm. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Push. Uh, we can push. <laughs> then. I don't have any way to like get it if I don't. I think we're just going to go with this. And he's got to take, so. Simple stuff there. Uh, uh, do we just want to end back there? I think we just want to end back there. He's going to come in for, he's going to come here. And we can just drop back. I guess I could step forward. I want to step forward. Well, yeah, that pins the... That pins the knight. Do I have anything else? Do? Pins the knight. Let's just go here. And if he comes here, we just push this and move on with our lives. Or if he pushes this, I can take here. And then if he pushes, I can move up. No problem. Then I can go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if he goes here, I take, then we slide up. Nice. I like that. Um, okay. If I go here, it stops him from taking. But if he comes and takes, and then I take, then, well, maybe he's just holding. I don't really want him to come in. I think we just want to hold. I think we just want to hold this. He can't kick it. And the, the bishop is now not under any attack. This can come. Then I can just push. No problem. Where would be the weaknesses? We can then bring this knight in to attack this pawn if this is pushed. We can look to go hunting for something. What are we hunting for? Okay. So... We talked about this just a second ago. He could push here. 
Yeah, so we just need to go here. Be simple. Okay. Now we can go after this pawn. Okay, uh, now we have a fork, right? He's going to go here for the fork, the check. This is a fork. I feel like that was bad for him. I do see this check coming, but he's still going to have to avoid... Um, I don't see any other threats coming in. So that's pretty good. Pretty good for us here. I think we are, uh, well on our way actually at this point. I'm feeling pretty confident about this position because he has a weak pawn here. We have the fork here. We have a lined up tack. We can still castle and bring the the rook over. Everything's developing nicely. And he's kind of pinned and locked down. There's just not a whole lot going for him. I'm feeling pretty good. Can I get those get some of those points back? It was a 1200, so we only lost six rating on the loss. We're looking at gaining plus nine. So we'll be plus three on the day. Uh, because I was uh yeah, I was expected. This is pretty easy, quick response. Now you're still looking at losing that bishop, and you're still still forked. So doesn't really get him out of any any pickles. No pickles escaped. There's still work to do. Still got to be careful. So I'm not I'm not taking it easy, so to speak. Okay. If I take here, you're not threatening anything. That is no longer hanging. Um but so let's I think I think we take and then we castle. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's take and then castle. He's probably going to come here. Which is fine. Could go here. Don't think so, though. The knight doesn't have anywhere to go at all. We can pressure the knight in any capacity. Yeah, pretty predictable. Do I need to castle? Or I could push and defend. Here, right? No need to let the pawn fall. And the queen doesn't have any checks. Let's just defend, and then we can castle. Seems good to me. Alrighty. So, the bishop is trapped at the current state. We need to figure out how to get rid of that guy. We can drop down here, targeting this knight. Trades are beneficial for us, so we could easily just hop here. Uh, and then, or we could go here. I don't think going here really opens anything up for me. But it does allow me to put pressure on the knight without allowing him to have the trade, because right now the knight can't go here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, without getting taken. So that's all of its available moves. So if I go he here, then he's getting scotch-free with a knight that is otherwise trapped. 
I could go here and then here. And I still get the knight for free. Because his rooks are all trapped. They're not firing on any open files. He has no way through. He has no bishops. He's down a piece. He's choked. Smithereens. Things that would be scary. If he comes here and I take, that's it. That's Then he could go here. I don't think I would take. No, I would have to take. I would take, and then he could come over. Yes, yes, yes. I see this is scary. Hmm. So this would force the trade off quickly. Because yeah, you're saying if he comes... If I push here, if I come up, he could take here. I could take here. That would be better. Because then we hold down the center, right? If I push here, if I come here, or if he comes here and I go here, and he pushes again, well, then I could push up, and then he's just locked here. But then my bishop's entombed in the corner. I basically, they don't have a piece. So I go here, he on passants. I take here, then I'm doubled up, and I've got a fire, and I think this is what I want to do here. I'm going to do this. Lock it down. The Ampassants. Oh, well, the Rook could come in, though. That's true. Hmm, maybe I didn't think that one through well enough. I could take. Uh, I think this one through poorly. Shoot. I may have messed this one up. Dang, did I mess it up? I didn't think about that. But. Uh, do I have any uh any ways out? I can just step up. And he just takes. If I take, then here comes the rook. Yikes. I don't like this at all. Okay, we're going to go here. This is going to happen. And then we go here. Yeah. <laughs> Could go here. If I go here, uh, I could go here. Mm -hmm. No. Let's just go for this. Because this is going to happen. If he lines up, then I go here. No, that's not going to do it. Shoot. I think I messed this up. Uh-oh, fascinating. Uh... This is risky. I just left my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What an idiot. Ugh.
Oh, gosh. Well, that happened. Uh, thanks for being on the journey, because it's a journey, and we're on it. Yay!